Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do long division step by step. So first the steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. And we repeat these steps over and over until we have finished dividing the entire problem. So let's look at an example. Let's try 8 into 5,376. First, let's do 8 into 5. Well, 8 doesn't go into 5, so I'll put an X on top of the 5 to hold that place. Now let's do 8 into 53. Well, I'm not sure how many times it goes in. So along the side of my problem, I will jot down the 8 times table. So I have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and I can stop here because 56 is too high. So if 48 means that 8 goes in 6 times, I'll put the 6 on top of the 3 because 8 went into 53 6 times. Now my next step is to multiply, and we already know that it's 48. My next step is to subtract, so I will subtract 48 from 53. I have to borrow from the 5 to make 13, and 13 minus 8 is 5. So I've finished my subtraction, and now I have to bring down the next number in my problem, which is a 7. So I'll bring down my 7, and now I have the number 57. Now notice that I have not finished dividing, so I need to repeat all of my steps. So I go back to the beginning and I'm going to have to divide again. 8 into 57 this time. Well, I know that 8 goes into 57 7 times using my um, times table on the side. And I know that when I multiply 7 times 8, I get 56. The next step is to subtract and when I subtract 57 minus 56, I get 1. My next step is to bring down. So I will bring down the next number, which is 6, making a new number 16. Now I'm still not finished dividing. I still have one more digit to, to go. So I go back to the beginning, and I have to divide again. This time, I do 8 into 16, and that's 2 times. Now, I kind of know that goes in evenly, but I'll just multiply to get 16, and then subtract to get 0, and that proves that my final remainder is 0, and I can leave my answer as it is. So my final answer is 672.